1997, we saw the release of Anaconda, a big budget monster movie. 27 years later, it's got a remake from China. That's correct, this is a remake from China, probably unofficial if we're being honest. I know that the Anaconda did spin, spin off some kind of lower budget direct video sequels, and I know Sony are planning to release a kind of, uh, their own remake at some point, but China is beating them to it. So let's discuss. So, the Chinese Anaconda um, follows a uh, very similar story to the original movie. In this instance, we follow a group of traveling circus performers as they are taking a boat through the waterways of Thailand to go to a new gig. They run across a poacher who seems to be kind of lost in the rainforest. And he is a little bit sketchy, you might say. Um, and one of our kind of party is a little suspicious of him. Uh, but this guy ends up kind of coercing this group of people into helping him capture this giant crimson anaconda uh, that is a one of a kind out in this kind of jungle that he kind of wants and thinks he's going to get rich off it. Inevitably, things don't go according to plan and people die. What will happen? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. So, let's discuss. Now, before I get into this movie, I will say that if you're familiar with the kind of Chinese um, movies that come out, uh, that are kind of monster movies, quite often there'll actually be a broad remake uh, of a kind of an American movie. I've seen it a few times, quite a lot with the shark films, for example. Um, but they'll change sentiments and they'll change the title. This one has actually kept uh, the original title, Anaconda, obviously in Chinese, but that is the original title. And it is actually a fairly close remake. So, what works in this movie? Now, unlike I would say maybe some of the um, the sequels to Anaconda, this one actually looks like it's got a reasonable budget. One thing I say about these Chinese movies quite a lot of the time, sometimes they, they do look like they've spent, had some money spent on them. You know, we've got this kind of on-location shoots in a kind of like... Uh, somewhere that very much looks like is where it's supposed to be taking place. It's going to take place in Thailand, but we have these kind of like lush waterways, these kind of dense forestry areas. Uh, it doesn't look like it's been set, you know, filmed on a set. It looks like it's filmed on location, at least for the most part. And we've got some kind of like, um, some decent cinematography on display here, some, you know, some, uh, some pretty good kind of set pieces. We, we have this kind of large kind of riverboat that we see in the first half of the movie where uh, that's kind of a lot our location for much of it, um, which ends up being uh, destroyed in, in a pretty good, you know, uh, sequence. Um, so, you know, it's it's a relatively kind of well-produced movie in many ways and kind of looks like the, the, the photography is good. It's all very kind of well-lit and kind of bright and stuff. And it just looks slick, if that makes sense. Now, one of the main critiques I have about a lot of these Chinese movies that have kind of these monsters in, they tend to be a little bit ropey on the CGI. And although I would say there are certainly sequences here that are still not particularly good, I think this is an improvement from a lot of the kind of the CGI that we've seen in Chinese monster movies. There's uh, a good few instances here where I think, I think the CGI looks uh, fairly good. Um... The movie tries to have a lighter tone and it does have some comical elements in it, probably more than the original to be fair, uh, of mixed results, but you know, if you want a bit more of a kind of a, a horror comedy then that's, that's kind of maybe something you'd enjoy. One thing that did strike me with this movie is um, they, they use a lot of real snakes. Now obviously we're not talking about the, the, the giant snake. But there's a lot of sequences that involve regular snakes. And although they do have a few sequences which are CGI even with those, a lot of the time they actually do use real snakes and things like that. And I was quite, certainly even near our actors. Um, and, you know, as such, it kind of looks obviously quite authentic. I wonder if, uh, like, Peter or anyone like that might be a little bit concerned with maybe how some of them were treated, if I'm completely honest with you. But uh, nonetheless, 
for, certainly for a realistic effect, um, these things look, you know, look legit. The movie does try and add a couple of other elements to this move to this movie compared to the original. So the original, it was a team of National Geographic filmmakers, I believe. Here, it's a um, a, a, a kind of team of circus performers. It's a little bit kind of weird why you've got all these circus performers going by boat. It doesn't seem likely, but that's, that's what it is. But anyway, it, it does give us a, a kind of a broad mix of characters, um, at least. There's one excuse for it. Um, this, this movie does have a few other things that it adds to the, adds to the film. There's a small subplot involving kind of parasites that are in the water, although that doesn't really go anywhere, admittedly. And then we actually have our big anaconda, but we also get some kind of like uh, mid-level boss, still massive, but not quite as big as our main snake, if that makes sense. So we get some still, uh, you know, by realistic standards, huge snakes, but they're not as big as uh, our, our huge ones. So we get a, a few different kind of like snakes in this film, albeit the whole point of the film is this main uh, crimson anaconda. But it's well shot, it's well paced, I think it's quite an enjoyable movie. Um, obviously it's using that original as a template, so you can't really give it too much props of being uh, well thought out and everything. But nonetheless, as an a piece of entertainment, I think it's it's well paced, it's well shot. The characters are kind of quite, um, you know, likeable and dislikeable when they're kind of like meant to be. And they're quite kind of memorable because they're so kind of different from one another. And in uh, maybe something which isn't meant to be necessarily a good thing, the, our, our kind of human bad guy who is played in the original by John Voight, the, the, the poacher character, the actor in this one is channeling the kind of the performance of John Voight, who was renowned for doing these kind of like over-the-top sneers. And this guy, is, he's taken the band and he has run with it, let me tell you, because he's like sneering all over the place. It's kind of funny. I don't think it was meant to be funny, but I kind of found it funny. Anyway, let's talk about what doesn't work with this movie. I mean, there's nothing here that you really haven't seen in the original. Um, it takes the broad strokes of the movie and just kind of retells it. And lastly speaking, I think the, um, the original movie does hold up to some degree. I mean, the CGI now has aged, but you know, the Chinese kind of monster movies normally have not top-notch CGI. I'd probably say, yeah, the movie, the, this CGI is probably better, but it still kind of has a few kind of like moments where it looks like clear kind of CGI. So, although I think this movie is well put together, that's solid, again, you've kind of seen it already. So if you just want to watch more or less the same movie again, uh, then, then, then go for it. The other elements that it introduces, the water parasite subplot, it, it doesn't go anywhere. Why introduce it? Um, and I didn't think the kind of like the medium sized giant snakes were necessary, um, to be honest with you. So again, it just seems like we've got to have a little bit more, uh, we've got to kind of top it and stuff like that. So this movie, but never, it never really addresses the fact that there's, because this guy's after this one snake, and then there's like a whole bunch of other ones that are, are nearly as big. And it's like, well, I thought this is one of a kind. Why is there other giant snakes in? Whatever. Um, so the, a lot in, the, in these Chinese movies, they tend to have broad character types. And this is true of this film. And you always get, for example, a goofy comedy relief character in every single one of these kind of like Chinese monster movies. And this one actually has a few of them. Um, you always get the kind of the sneaky kind of like, you know, duplicitous kind of like character who's going to meet a sticky end. Sometimes they're men, sometimes women. He's th th that person's here as well. We can normally get like a rival for our kind of our female lead. We've got that in this one as well. Um, you know, so and we get a few kind of cannon fodder. So again, it's not breaking the mold even within the kind of the Chinese kind of film industry. Um, about the sort of characters that you'll kind of get. So, you know, it's, it's nothing new, and I think it's, it doesn't really add anything kind of like new to the Anaconda franchise necessarily, but it is a solid, uh, it's a solid film. Um, it, I mean, it, the one thing it doesn't have, I suppose, which it maybe 
it's, a st it's still a good thing. Is that it doesn't, you know, force like a kind of a male lead in there, like a romantic love interest. It doesn't do that. So at least it does show a, show a little bit of kind of restraint and and have that kind of like that tacked on kind of love story that these kind of um, again these films t tend to have. But it's it's a well made, put together, uh, you know, nice looking film. You know, it's it, it's well placed, but it but it is using the kind of the original movie as a template. So I can't give it the props really for having it, this kind of like oh that's a great story that was kind of like well paced and everything because it's it's just taken a, what has worked before and just remaking it. But, if you like monster movies, and you don't mind reading subtitles, and I think you can do worse than this one, I'd actually give this one an above average score of 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.